Hello everyone, my name is Rosie. Thanks so much for dropping by. This video is me just gonna share my traveler's notebook. I actually realized that I haven't done a flip through of the inserts that I was using between January and June or like the end of June. So I thought I would do that today. Um, this passport cover is from Traveler's Company. It's in the color camel and the size is passport. You can see here on the string is a coffee and traveler's notebook, kind of like deco. I noticed that when I was using charms, it would indent. So I started to just keep it like this. Um, I have the pen holder also from Traveler's Company in the front here. I prefer the front because it's easier for me to write. Um, when I put this, this metal thing kind of like goes, kind of like makes it wonky to write on because I'm right-handed so that's why it's on the left. I have an adhesive pocket with a photo of Lauren and I and some squirrel or chipmunk sticky notes. I don't really remember where this is from. I think it's from a Momo from in Vancouver also known as Daiso. I also have this clear like cover thingy, um, a TN sleeve thing uh, that houses photos of my family. So this photo is a couple years ago. We actually um, took off our mask to take this photo. I just put Lauren's uh, mask down. This was taken, I think, two years ago, 2021. And this is from a family vacation that we took right when um, you're allowed to travel during COVID. I think I, I think it was 2021. Um, when we took this photo in Mexico and then here a photo of Lauren and my dog and another family photo um, and here is the superior labor uh, what is this called kind of like a wallet sleeve and I don't have anything in it because I actually switched out my cards and put them in my wallet um, it was getting kind of bulky to take around as a wallet so that's why i took out my cards i don't know if i have any cash in here oh i just have this superior labor um, tag that came with it and then in the back here nothing else just another photo a card and another photo of my family in seattle um i think it was that's something like the clam bucket or something. It's a seafood place in Seattle where they like dump out all the food um, on the on the table and you clean it. It was it's kind of gross, but really cool at the same time. Um, but yeah, on to the inserts. So again, um, Traveler's Company uh, comes out with weekly inserts, a day a week on two pages, but it's split into two notebooks, kind of like how the Hobonichi A6. Um, can be like the evac where you have like the first half in one book and the last half in the other and this video i just want to focus on the actual flip through of this first notebook i actually have a jump band in here and then what i did was i slipped it um in the middle of both notebooks and then just slipped it all in i'll show you what i meant um so what i have here uh at first i was just using it like this but then, um, seeing how it's September now, <laughs> a couple months late, um, I'm like, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to film a flip through. I'm going to film a flip through. And so I just decided to put the jump band in, which is green. I think that's what it comes with when I first got the camel, um, and decided to, um, have the whole year together until I filmed this flip through. So that's why it's like that. Um, in the front here, I decorated it. Um, I don't remember which sticker pack it came with, or maybe it came with this particular pack of inserts, but I have a few Traveler's Notebook stickers and I wrote down January to June, 2023. I'm not sure where the, these stickers are from. I think they were in like Happy Mail from a friend. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to show you in here with more deco stickers. I think these stickers you can get off AliExpress. I actually got, again, a Happy Meal from a friend, so so sorry, I don't know where these are from, but I'm pretty sure you can like Google or search on AliExpress floral transparent stickers and these would come up. And then, yeah, it's 
like you go down a rabbit hole when you're searching on AliExpress. If you're not familiar with these notebooks, um, it just comes in this like box, like each insert, Traveler's Notebook insert always starts out with like this framed box where you can write out like the title of the notebook. And here it just says the, the dates of the inserts. Um, you have a year at a glance for 2023 and 2024. And then here I don't really utilize this space. Um, I don't know why. I just, I was thinking of having trackers or having my husband schedule because he does shift work. He's still a resident. So his hours are all over the map depending on like which rotation he's in. So I just left this blank. Goes on for the rest of the year, even though this insert only focuses on the first half of 2023. And then it goes into the week. So the week is just like, I'll show you a, a regular week. So it looks like this. And I just decorated it, used stickers. And my style kind of changed. I'm trying to move away from more cute things and more kind of earthy toned colored stickers and more florals but as you can see um I, I couldn't help myself with the cute stickers and stuff i think this is from oh i don't even remember um, i'll try to link it down in the description but these stickers are from like scrapbook or something anyways they have like tns and cute notebooks i'll make sure to link it in the description below and you can see here what i usually do is red is for work related items and the black is personal and then the dark blue ink um i don't think i have it here oh jimmy was on holidays here i'll show you the dark blue ink is um, my husband's schedule so yeah i would do a mixture of planning and journaling um in these spreads you can see here this is like heavy text heavy text again um i think i split it between like how i felt at work and how i felt at home um but yeah my deco is all over the map you can see it's not very that aesthetic <laughs> like it's pretty messy the only thing that's aesthetic about it the only thing that's pretty about it is the actual stickers um but i don't have the best penmanship but regardless, this is my journal and like I'll do whatever I want to do. Um, but yeah, here is um, March and April. And it's really important for me to like own my journal, meaning I want to have the ability to be as creative as possible. I'm not that creative as I mentioned in previous um, videos, but I love putting down stickers and being able to write whatever I want to write. Here's May. So um, yeah, it's just not as clean looking as some people um, make their TN inserts. Uh, so you can see here, not that much journaling going on, more so planning. There is some journaling here and there, like a sentence or two. I'm debating whether or not to use these notebooks for 2024, seeing how it's September, me filming this right now. Um, but going through this, um, even though it's divided into two notebooks, I really do like it. So it ends in July and then I guess might as well do a little bit of um, this one as well. So again, I did more stickers, more deco. Um, again, not sure where I got them from. Most of it's from Happy Mail. And from the Traveler's Notebook um, stickers that comes with notebooks and, and inserts. But yeah, some of these stickers too are from Sterling Ink subscription box. Again, year at a glance for 2023-2024. Pages I don't utilize. And then it goes in. So here I do subscribe to Sterling Ink monthly subscription. I stop and go depending on how many stickers I own. It's great because you can pause it and then um, resume it. So that's what I've been doing. And again, messy, but it just means a lot to me to be able to like just write down whatever I want to write down. Plans, sentences, how I'm feeling, just really important to me. And you can notice here too, it's not always that full. Some days or some weeks I just don't feel like journaling and just want to put a couple stickers down. But I think it's really important for me because I hate blank space that, or blank, like, I hate having blank spaces that don't have anything written down. 
there are times when I do um, back plan. So here when I went on vacation a few weeks ago in August, I did back plan here. And again, I suck at drawing as I always, I don't do it all. Like some people have like the most beautiful drawings. You can see here um, when my husband rented a boat for us for on Lake Okanagan when we were on vacation in Kelowna, um, I drew a boat with like four stick figures. So I mean, it makes me happy to, to, to do my thing in my tans. But yeah, leading into September. Um, last week I didn't, I was just so hectic. Kids were sick. My mom went into surgery. Annie fell down the stairs and like sprained her ankle. Had to wait and emerge for a couple hours to make sure it's not broken. Um, had to wait for x-rays. And then this week is more, more filled out. But I will go and back plan like I was saying. Because I don't like this much blank space. But yeah, that is, um, that's pretty much all I wanted to share. I only wanted to share this first notebook. But then because I had this one available, I did a mini clip of this. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that clip of my traveler's notebook. Again, I'm so sorry I haven't been on YouTube long. I'm still catching up on comments that have been left like several months before. Um, I think I'm all caught up now, but if not, don't worry, I'll get to them. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and think about um, subscribing as well. It um, really helps out my channel and keeps me motivated to film more videos and share with you guys my planner. I'm way more active on Instagram, but I definitely want to be more active on here. But yeah, thanks so much for watching and making me this far. I hope you enjoyed the video and chat with you guys soon. I hope you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.